DeWalt has a new mid-size bandsaw out that comes in two different models in four different model numbers. First, we have the DCS 379B. This is an XR dual trigger bare tool model, MSRP 379. Next is the DCS 379P1. That is the same dual trigger model with a five amp hour battery, a bag and a charger, MSRP 529. Then we have the DCS 378B, which is a single trigger mid-size bandsaw, and that is 339. And finally, we have the DCS 378P1, which is the same XR mid-size bandsaw that we have here with the five amp hour battery, MSRP with the bag, the battery and charger, $459. DeWalt designed this bandsaw for the commercial life. So this is a metal frame bandsaw with everything you need stored right on board. In fact, the Allen key to adjust the blade tracking is hidden nicely in the handle that loosens up the wheel. We can open up some metal latches on here. We do have a plastic cover. That is one piece. I like it that it comes up together. Then from here, we can get into our blade, which the blade that comes with it is 18 TPI and it is 35 and 3 8 inches long. Now sliding this blade back in, not difficult, but there is an angle that this comes at that's a little bit different than some of the other bandsaws and makes it, I wouldn't say slightly more difficult to get in. It's really not. It's just once you get in that angle, get everything set, you are good. Put the wheel back in, we can hit the trigger and look at our tracking. This is a variable speed unit with a dial. So we are currently at the dial on one, which is low, but look how slow we can make this guy go. This trigger is absolutely amazing. Just butter smooth, ramp this guy up. If we go up to five, we can still drop this guy down to super slow. This bandsaw is rated for up to 570 feet per minute. That is going to be obviously with the dial on high. Now you can move this dial in small increments. So you can get this blade going the exact speed that you'd like to. You have a 20 volt brushless motor on here, blade tracking's here. LED light is going to come on here light up your three and three eighths inch square cut capacity you have an adjustable work stop so you can get that out as far as you want or back it in if you need a little bit more room this is lanyard ready that's an accessory that you can bolt on right here and it is also tool connect ready so you can put your chip in the bottom if you'd like in order to turn this guy on there's an ambidextrous safety up top you have to push this one way or another in order to squeeze that trigger. Again, this is probably one of the nicest bandsaws that I've used in a long time. That trigger is absolutely amazing. DeWalt smooth, just as you would expect. And the fit and feel of this is excellent. Cutting with this bandsaw is butter smooth. Control is there, grip is there. Everything feels perfect as it should. And as you would expect out of a commercial grade tool. Now the MSRP of this is going to be up there and it's going to be right in that commercial grade area. So if you're purchasing this for a DIY at home, you're gonna spend a little bit more money than maybe you would on some of the other bandsaws out there, but the product you're getting is top notch. And I say that with no forms, when you look and just pick this guy up, you know that it is built well. You can feel there is zero flex in this unit at all. It is a excellent bandsaw. One thing that stood out to me on this bandsaw is the, we'll call them vents. Realistically, they do move a slight amount of air, but more so they move chips out of the wheels. A lot of the wheels are open on a lot of bandsaws, but maybe not as much as what you see here. And if we flip this over, you can see we are getting some filings out, which is nice to see, but there is quite a bit that collects up in here. And as that moves around these, holes give it a chance to get out and that is really nice it's not going to collect up in here and start to ruin different parts so being able to have that available i think is a good thought as far as dewalt's going you can get in here i mean there is quite a bit so this is something obviously that you're going to clean out once you use it for a while but you're also going to appreciate having these holes that are in here to allow things to come out or to be able to move the tool around and get anything that's inside out. 
Great design, great cut, great battery life. You could use this thing all day and probably not even come close to going through this five amp hour battery. All the power and control that you need. Great unit. If you're looking for this for commercial, if you're looking for it for at home, it is going to check every box that you need. Check this guy out. I'll put some links in the description. Comments below as always. Give us a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.